Hello friends, this is a case of total laparoscopic hysterectomy and we will show you a skin to a skin total laparoscopic hysterectomy and uh, total time of performing this laparoscopic hysterectomy is 19 minute. So, we are putting a supra umbilical port and that is for optical port. So, this is the various needle which we are giving one a small stab wound over the approximately 6 centimeter above the umbilicus and this is by the 11 number knife. After that we will take the various needle and we will introduce the various needle perpendicular to abdominal wall but oblique to the body of the patient and the assistant is lifting the abdominal wall and because it is in the mid line so you will get two click and then we will do the irrigation suction and hanging drop test. And you can do plunger test also if you want you can take the piston out and this fluid will be sucked inside the abdomen. And we can see this piston is getting empty the syringe that is sucked in because by default there is always a negative pressure inside the abdomen. And now we have started the flow rate and as usual the flow is 1 liter per minute and the preset pressure is 15 and we are waiting for actual pressure to reach to the preset pressure and you can see here homogeneous distension is started and abdomen is distending. So, minimum 1.5 and maximum 6 liter of the gas will be required to fill up the abdominal cavity. So, creating pneumoperitoneum is a time taking job you have to wait till the entire desired distension is achieved and purpose of pneumoperitoneum why we put by various needle is to prevent injury of trocar. So, now the pneumoperitoneum is over and 3.5 liter gas is already in and now we have removed the various needle and now incision will be enlarged either side to 11 mm. So, that we will put the first optical port that is telescopic port. So, this is the optical port which is getting introduced supra umbilical and then the telescope will be introduced. We see the hissing sound you can get the hissing sound. Pneumopetronium again attached and flow rate is increased to maximum flow rate to 10 liter per minute. Now, this is the telescope is in and then we will put the secondary port that is two ipsilateral port we will use for this patient. And these two ipsilateral port will be 5 mm only. So, only three port will be used for this surgery. Laparoscopic hysterectomy most of the hysterectomy you can do by only three port one is for telescope and two ipsilateral. Now, we can see this is the laparoscopic view and all the bobble will be pushed above the sacral pulmonary except sigmoid colon, sigmoid colon should not be lift up. Here we can see there is a small adhesion with the sigmoid on this patient which we will separate later and this is the ureter, this is the right ureter which is crossing the external iliac vessel. This is the peristalsis of ureter, below is internal iliac, this is external iliac, this is triangle of dome, this is uterus and tubectomy is done in this patient already we can see and this is sigmoid colon and now this is the third port which we will introduce under vision. So, all the three port is in the position and then by the time assistant has already introduced the uterine manipulator 
and then we will start the surgery. So, assistant is pushing the uterus that is cranially and towards 9 o'clock position and we will start our dissection with the right side of the round ligament. So, this is surgery is now started and this is now right side of the round ligament, but the timing of this surgery we have calculated a skin to a skin. So, once the patient was draped and we put the first stab wound over the elbow number of knife from that time we are calculating and this is the round ligament which is done. Now, this is the fallopian tube that is uh, already tubectomy is done. So, this is the major salpings and that is coagulated and after that here it is the ovarian ligament. So, here we are using ligature for the dissection. And this is the major ovarian, and then 2.5 centimeter here we will go over the broad ligament. So, at that time, assistant is this is 2.5 centimeter, assistant is pushing the uterus contralaterally so that you can do it. Now, uterus will go at 3 o'clock position, and similarly, we are doing left side of round ligament tube already you can see tube is cut. So, it is just little bit major salpings of the left side and then this is the ovarian ligament. So, this is done after that uterus will <clears throat> go at 5 o'clock position and we will open the anterior leaf of the broad ligament. Left hand is stretching the peritoneum and then right hand will keep on cutting the peritoneum by making a lateral window and the uterus will keep on moving from 5 to 7 o'clock position. Left hand should must stretch the peritoneum then right hand should cut. So, that any underlying organ will not injure and bladder also will not be touched. So, after opening the anterior leaf entirely then only we will separate the bladder. You should just stretch the peritoneum before cutting and assistant is smoothly rotating the uterine manipulator to 7 o'clock and uterus should be fully retroverted. And left hand should keep the peritoneum stretched and we should lateralize the peritoneum. So, that way we will lateralize the ureter. In this patient we have not used any ICG or we have not used any infrared ureteric catheter also and this is separation of the bladder. So, we can see bladder is pushed away and bladder pillar will be lateralized. We can see crisscross pattern of the vagina, pearly white vaginal fascia is visible, and all the peritoneum is of all the bladder is pushed down, and shiny vaginal fascia is visible. So, we are using the closed tip of harmonic and closed tip of the grasper to separate the bladder. And this is very important that bladder pillar also should be nicely lateralized so that you can have a thin pedicle of uterine artery. Now, this is the posterior peritoneum and uh, <clears throat> here also left hand is giving the traction over the peritoneum and right hand is cutting the peritoneum giving traction inferomedially with the harmonic. You will not cut the uterocycle ligament. The peritoneum of the posterior leaf of the broad ligament will be detached above the arc of the uterosacral ligament. And this is slowly separating and without cutting the uterosacral. Vaginal part of uterosacral ligament we will not cut and this is stretching the peritoneum of by the left hand posterior and this is also separated. So, this is over now we will go for uterine artery. 
So, uterus will be pushed to 3 o'clock position and we will take the uterine artery of the right side. Peritoneum should posterior peritoneum should be a strip little more and both the peritoneum opening has an advantage that uterine will get coagulated easily without any risk and another big advantage that you can take vein together. So, this is done and the left uterine artery is taken little bit macan rod if it is present that also you can cut. And now we will do the right uterine artery. So, contralateral traction is done and this is the little oozing what you can see this is a collected blood that is a reverse bleeding which is coming and we can see this is the artery of the right side is also coagulated and cut. And now we will do colpotomy, we colpotomy we start above the arc of the uterosacral ligament and initially always we start from posterior so that we will not damage the arc of the uterosacral and then we go either side. So, this is very easy with the harmonic and we remain over the tip of the colpotomizer so that there will be no any shortening of the vagina and easily you can cut it. So, this is the posterior colpotomy is almost over and because we have a optimum size of the colpotomizer. So, entire cervix will be inside the colpotomizer. So, there is no chance that you can leave the cervix. So, now this is the lateral colpotomy going on and assistant will keep on rotating the uterus accordingly and now this is the anterior colpotomy by pushing the uterus and this is the lateral on the left side. So, just now couple of minute time is left and the uterus will be free from the vagina. You can use this stop by the hook also, but harmonic has an advantage that there is no chances of any remote injury, minimum collateral damage and easily you can separate it because it is not a current, it is a friction energy. So, it is easy just to decrease the time we have not used any suction irrigation throughout the surgery and the maximum blood loss is maximum 5 ml only. So, this is the anterior colpotomy and now the right lateral colpotomy will be performed. So, this is done. and now uterus is free. So, uterus will be pulled out by the assistant. Now, we will remove the tube also and both the tube we will give the anteromedial traction and the mesosalpings and IO ligament that is infundibulo ovarian ligament the tube will be separated. This is a stone holding forceps which is coming through the vagina to take the tube and this is now the left tube that also is separated. After that assistant is pushing the suture through the vagina by the side of the gloves and we will take the suture and then we will start the this adhesion also we will cut it because this is not a normal adhesion. So, it can create some internal herniation, so better to cut it. And now here the suture is pushed and we will start suturing. So, this is the needle which is coming through the vagina when we will start suturing taking a bite over the uterocycle ligament of the right side, we will start with the continuous suturing from right to left and again left to right two layer suturing we will perform. 
So this is the posterior and now this is anterior. Anterior we are pulling little bit vaginal epithelium so that if there was little cystocele that also will get corrected and this is pulling it little in, in the anterior vagina. So only three bite we will take in the first layer and first layer bite it will be taken you know independently one by one posterior and anterior separately and then returning bite we will take both together. So, vaginal epithelium is must taken so that granulation tissue will not form. So, this is posterior vagina again this is anterior vagina and we are taking the epithelium little deep so that it can be pulled inside the abdomen. And now this is the last bite where this side again the uterosacral ligament is taken. Then this is the posterior and now this is the anterior. So, this is the first layer of the suturing. Then the first layer is taken layer by layer one by one posterior and anterior separately. Now, we will start returning back and during returning we will take both the layer together because we have now the left hand to give the traction and we are locking in returning back it is getting locked. So, this is the returning layer and here anterior and posterior vagina both is taken together. If the assistant is there, assistant will help you to lift the and to pull the suture and to keep the peritoneum lifted up. But because this is a three port surgery, so you have to do yourself. And now we will take the last bite on the corner of the right side. And this is done. After that, we will tie the knot. This is also locked because needle end is just small, so we will cut the needle. And we will use tail end to take a wrap and tie the knot because tail end was big. So, this is the tail end and we will make a C and reverse C by the tail end to tie the knot. So, this is surgeon's knot first time, first time double wrap followed by two opposite alternating wrap. So, this is only single knot will do all the job. You may use barb suture or extracorporeal square knot for the closure of the vault. So, it is now suture will be cut and then we will hold the needle also together after cutting the suture to take the needle out. So, now the surgery is over. Thank you for watching this surgery. Have a nice day.